Hi YouTube, this is Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com. In this video, we're going to set up a Chromebook for C and C++ programming. The first thing I want to do is enable the Linux development environment. So I'm going to go over here and click on my launcher, and then I'm going to go to, well, I'm going to search for settings, and I'll click on settings, and on the left-hand side, I'm going to go down to advanced, and I'm going to click on that. From here, I can once I click on this, it'll expand and I can click on developers. From here, I can turn on the Linux development environment. So I'm going to click turn on and then the Linux development environment wizard will pop up and I can work through that. So I'm going to click next. It's going to give me a username based off my email. I'm going to keep that as is and it's going to give me a recommended disk size. This disk size can be changed later in settings. I'm going to keep this as is now and I'm going to click install. And that's going to take a few moments so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment installs, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to maximize this and increase the font size so you can see what I'm doing. And I want to make sure everything is up to date, so I'm going to type sudo apt get update and then two ampersands which means and and then sudo apt get dist dash upgrade and I'll do a dash Y so I don't have to answer yes to the additional space. I'll hit enter. This will take a few minutes so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, now that the Linux development environment has been updated, we want to install a few packages. I'm just going to do control L to clear this out so you can see what I'm doing. And we want to install GCC, G++, and the debugger. So to do that, what I'm going to do is type sudo apt get install build dash essential and then a space and then gdb and I'm going to do a dash y flag again so I don't have to answer yes to the additional space. I'll hit enter. This will take a few minutes so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once that's done I'm going to do control L to clear everything out again and we want to install the GNOME keyring to ins before we install Visual Studio Code. Now at the time of this recording the Visual Studio Code website recommends that you install the GNOME, GNOME keyring when you are installing VS Code. So to do that we'll type sudo apt get install GNOME keyring with a dash y here and hit enter. Okay now that that's gone ahead I'm gonna go and get VS Code. So I'm going to open up a browser. So I'm going to open up a browser and type in code.visualstudio.com. You can also just search for VS Code. Okay, now I should note this is going to work on an Intel or AMD based Chromebook. Uh, I don't know if it'll work on an ARM based Chromebook. I don't have one, so um, just keep that in mind. I'm going to download the .deb file here. Once the .deb file is downloaded, I'm going to click Show in Folder, or you can go to your Downloads folder, and I'm going to right-click and click on Install with Linux. I'll then click Install and OK. OK. Once that's done, I'll close this. I can close out uh, the files here. I can close out this um, settings here. I like to right click and pin the terminal to my taskbar when I'm coding because I use that a fair amount. And I'm going to open up the launcher here and I see VS Code right here. I can also search for it here if it doesn't pop right up. I'm going to right click and pin this to the shelf and then I'm going to click to open. Okay, we can expand this. Uh, I'm going to stick with the dark modern. I'll just mark this stuff done and um, I don't really need to show the welcome page on the startup, so I'm just going to uncheck that. And I'm going to do control a comma just to bring up my settings here for a minute. One thing I like to do is change the title bar. So I'm going to type in title bar. I'm going to change it from native to custom. Looks a little nicer. And I'll restart it. And once it restarts, we can close out the settings here. And what I want to do now is let's create a program in uh, C first. So let's open up the sidebar here and open a folder. 
and I'm gonna create a folder for all my programming stuff. I'll just call this programming and I'll click create. And then inside of that, I'll create a folder called uh, C programs and create that. And then inside of that, I can create a project. Let's call this um, hello and let's open that up, okay? Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll create a new file. It's gonna ask me if I trust the, the authors, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna create a new file. Uh, let's call that hello.c, okay? And it's gonna ask me now, do I wanna install the recommended C, C++ extension pack from Microsoft for C language? And I'm gonna say yes, install please. And that's gonna go ahead and install that extension. Okay, and that's gone ahead and installed, so I can close this out now. And I'll go back up here. And let me zoom in a little bit for you. So I'll just zoom in a little bit and close out the sidebar here. Let me zoom in one more time. And let's create a simple program. We'll do a simple kind of, hello, my name is Tim, along with printing some arithmetic just to make sure everything works in C. So I'm going to do a header, oh well, an include here, include a header file, and that's gonna be stdio.h, and uh, I'm gonna create a main function, so I'll do int main, and then I'll return zero at the bottom of this, and what I'm gonna do now is I am going to do a couple print printf's. So I'll do a print f. And first off, I'll say, hello, my name is Tim. And I'll do a new line character here and a semicolon at the end there. Now let's print some math. So I'll, I'll do uh, print F and I'll do uh, percent D plus percent D equals percent D. Okay, and we'll do, let's do 10 and three and then 10 plus three, okay? and we'll duplicate this line a few times so okay now that the lines duplicated a few times i'm going to change this to minus this to minus uh, this to times we'll do an asterisk here uh, this to division we'll do a division here and this to the module operator and we'll do the module operator there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to save this and what I want to do is I want to um, go to my menu here and let me zoom out a little bit. And what I want to pick is terminal and I want to configure tasks. And what I want to do is use GCC. So I'll click on that and it's gonna create a tasks.json. And I'm gonna close that out. And now I can go to terminal and I can run the build task. And the build has finished successfully. I'll open up a new terminal and I'm going to list out the files here. And I see I have the executable file, which is just the hello without the extension. To run that, I'm gonna do a period and a forward slash, and then start typing hello, and just tab to autocomplete that, and then hit enter. And we see, hello, my name is Tim. Now, interestingly enough, what I should do here is also put new line characters. So let's actually do that. So we can see this a little bit better. And let me get rid of these, get rid of these. And let's go back to the terminal. We can do control shift B if we want to run this build task. I'm gonna do that. And it was finished successfully. Let's open up another terminal and we'll run the program again. And we see, uh, hello, my name is Tim. Um, oh yes, I have to, escape this right here. I believe I have to do that. 
and let's save it. Let's do Control Shift B and build it. Let's close it, and I can do you know, open a terminal with Control Shift and the uh, back tick there. Okay, now let's run hello one more time. There we go. Okay, so everything worked out there. Okay, so our C programs are working. All right, now let's go and let's actually open the sidebar here and let's open a folder. I'm going to go back to programming and create a new folder. Let's call it C programs. Hit enter. And inside of that, let's create another folder called hello for our project. Let's click open. It's going to ask me if I trust the authors. I'll say yes. I'm going to create a, create a file called hello.cpp. And I'm going to close out my sidebar here and let's just increase this a little bit. So I want to include a header file. So I'm going to type include and I'm going to include iostream here. And I'm going to say using name space std. And I'll create my main function and return zero. And what I'm going to do is do C out and say hello, my name is Tim. And I'll do to the left of arrows and L there. And let's do C out. We'll do 10 plus 3 and do an end L. And we'll do C out and we'll do 10 minus 3 and an end line here. We'll do C out, we'll do 10 times 3. I'd like to see how these work. And then C out, uh, 10 divided by 3 and end the line. And then C out, we'll do 10 modulo 3 and we'll end the line. Okay, so some basic arithmetic. I'll save that. Zoom out a little bit. So we're going to go to the terminal menu and configure tasks. And we're going to use uh, the G++ compiler here. So check that second one. It's going to create a tasks.json. And I'm going to close this. And now I can build it by running the build task. Okay, so the build finished successfully. I'll open up a terminal with control and shift in the back tick. And now what I'm going to do is list out my storage. I see I have a hello executable. So let's run that. And we get hello, my name is Tim. And then 10 plus 3 is 13. 10 minus 3 is 7. 10 times 3 is 30. 10 divided by 3 is 3. We get an integer here just like in C. And then we have 10 modulo 3. The remainder of 10 divided by 3 is 1. Pretty sweet. All right, so now your Chromebook is set up to program in C and C++. If you like this video, please give it a like. And for more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.